So I'm here with the captain of AFC Oakwood Reserves. So how are you feeling for today's game? Uh, yeah, we're confident, especially after the last game. Uh, again, it's our first league game together. Um, it was a bit, some of us haven't played together before. So to come out of a game with a team that played together for three or four seasons, I thought it was going to be a bit difficult, but we just showed our quality for that. I think we were, we were strong, we were good on the ball, we were confident with each other, and that was, I think that was the most positive thing out of the whole day. Yeah, I mean, it showed in the result, 7-1 against AFC Edmonton. Uh, how, how is that going to affect your game and boost your guys' performances today? That's going to take our confidence to the next level. I think, um, like I said, we're a brand new team. To go into a game not knowing what we could do together and things like that, it's just going to, it could take us to the next level at this level, to be fair. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Today's going to be a tough game. They, this, this mob are a good side. They've been together for a couple of years. Um, so today, we'll see where we really are. Um, yeah, so today we'll see where we really are. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. So how have you, uh, Clackenwell FC, prepared for today's game? Um, obviously, from we had a good pre-season prior to the final one before the season started. Um, I think we're starting to understand each other as a team. Um, just trying to basically get the manager what how he wants us to play. Um, we've come off of a good victory last week. Uh, sorry, two weeks ago uh, against Powerhouse. Um, good side, um, but I thought we played really well. Uh, from the get-go, um, we basically done what the manager wanted us to do, and um, yeah, it was just good to get the to start off with a win. So today's obviously going to be a big test. Uh, they're coming off a seven-month win, mm -hmm. so the new team that for us obviously, well, especially for me. So looking forward to the challenge, and uh, just obviously just the same again from last week. Yeah. So, um, well, considering that your last game was a high-scoring game, and they were, they had a high-scoring game. Do you think this game will be a high-scoring game? I think it's going to be yeah. expect to be a, a much closer game. Um, obviously, first 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe both teams might play a bit cool, just to see how each other plays, sort of thing. So, um, I'm really looking forward to it. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, we've we've done really well. So pre-season, it's been a really, really, really good morale boost for us. Like I said, I think we only lost one. Um, and just basically just what we've done last week, we just want to obviously just base that and just get stronger and stronger. And yeah. yeah. And do you have any score predictions? Score predictions is a bit hard, but I'm expecting to be a close game. Yeah. Okay. It's BSFL Division 2 action on game week 3. AFC Oakwood Reserves against Clerkenwell from the Aylands Open Space. AFC Oakwood Reserves with Edward Clark in goal, Dury Burdis, Jack Casson, Harry Morgan, Massimo Simeo, Aaron Crockett the captain, Charlie Smith, Ryan Murphy, Ryan Murphy, Billy Drohan and Cole Mullings. Substitutes Darius Kenny, Hudson Allpress, James Collis and John Reynolds. Their manager is Sam Ruff and they are playing in the pink and black stripes. Clerkenwell, Giuseppe Falzoni in goal, Matt Calley, Craig Clancy, Daniel Laws, Reggie Welch, Luke Wemez, Gary Driscoll, Frankie Chandler, Frankie Notaro, Giovanni Falzoni and Aaron Kennedy. They have no substitutes, their manager is Dan Attard and they are playing in the red and black striped shirts. The referee for today's game, Harry Yanaris. AFC Oakwood reserves get this game underway, kicking from left to right in the pink and black stripes with the predominant red shirts of Clark and Welp. It's a good early touch from Cole Mullings. And Ryan Murphy, one of two Ryan Murphys playing for Oakwood today. Cleared away by Clark and Welp and a long ball over the top trying to seek out the run of Fazone but out comes Edwards Clark to uh, claim the ball. Burdis towards the left hand side Drohan 
Silvio getting forward and winning the corner. Get away. Uh, Clark and well. Haven't got it particularly far. It's been given away. And then all the way back to Edward Clark. From the back, Clark and well. Burtis. Towards the front man, Cole Mullings. Just bounced away from him. Knowledge is the ball. It's gone straight through to Giuseppe Falzoni. Launch long upfield. Charlie Smith. It's a good run forward from Smith. Ball into the box. He took a deflection off of Craig Clancy. It's a corner. Giuseppe Falzoni. Another one of those long boots upfield. Keeps the home side's defence on their toes. Falzoni on the outside. Burdis for company and Burdis does very well. Knocks it against Falzoni and out for a throw in to AFC Oakwood Reserves. Ball over towards the left hand side but it's just out of the range of Billy Drohan. Throw to be taken by Matt Kelly. Crockett, Clark and Well returning to the BSFL this season after one season absence from the league. Falzoni. Was. It's been pinched back by Burdis, and this is a good chance through the middle. It's Mullins, goes on the outside, pulls it back, and it's a simple tap in. Billy Drohan in the right place at the right time. He wasn't going to miss from there. Carl Mullins unselfishly put it on the plate, and AFC Oakwood reserves take the lead. Long throw. Towards that penalty area, it's flicked on by Casson. All the way down the line. Came off of Aaron Kennedy and out for a throw. It's a long throw from Charlie Smith. Trying to pick out Mullins. Murphy. It's a good hold up play by Chandler. Time and space now for Harry Morgan. Out towards the left hand side, a heavy touch. Jack Cassett went in with the challenge, but he's been caught slightly out of position at the moment, and the chance for Chandler to get forward. And that wasn't very far wide. Edwards Clark looping away to his right, knew it wasn't far away from goal. Best chance so far for Clark and Welk, close to an equaliser. Burtis, it's great skill. Battling to win the ball back though with Luke Wimes. A bit of time here, Charlie Smith. Quick ball over the top. Mullings coming inside. Defender slip. Mullings gets a shot in. It's on target. Straight at Giuseppe Valzoni. Certainly had the better of it so far. The home side leading by a goal to nil. Cleared away by Wimes. Simi out. Well, they can try and move through the gears with Chandler. Sent wide by Driscoll. Tatara. Run back by Cassett. And then Cassett. Just a little trip on oh, Gary Driscoll and the referee. Harry Yanaris wants a word. We keep from Fazzoni. Over the top of the crossbar. Giovanni Fazzone. Go all the way through to Edwards Clark. He eventually managed to scramble it back into his own penalty area. Long ball forward over towards that left hand side. It's Matt Kelly that comes out on top but then loses it to. Mullings, Mullings back inside. That's a great save from Fazzoni to keep out Billy Drohan, who looked set 
to score his and his team's second. Great pullback. It's a left-footed shot. It's got power behind it. It's a really good save from Falzoni. Clark and Welt high in confidence after a 5-2 win on the opening day against Powerhouse FC. Working their way out from the back. Clark and Welt. Charlie Smith. He's going to go for goal himself. Deflected away. Oh, stitch defending. Ryan Murphy was involved. Charlie Smith with the shot. It does take a deflection. It is going to be a corner. AFC Oakwood Reserves had a fantastic start to the season on match day one. 7 1 winners over AFC Edmonton. A hat trick for Ryan Murphy and a brace for Carl Mullings. Ball that bounces from one goalkeeper almost through to the other. And down goes Billy Drohat wants a penalty referee says no corner it was all came from the long kick from Clark corner from Crockett powerful header and then the shot was wide big chance and Clark to take this goal kick Oakwood reserves leading by one goal to nil and they are fully deserving of that lead and that's the lead that they will take in with them at half time. AFC Oakwood reserves one, Clark and Well nil. The game still there for Clark and Well. Knocked wide by Driscoll but straight out of play for a throw. Smith. It's the feet of Murphy. It's good defending by Wimes. Prevents it from going behind for a corner. Working forward down the left-hand side. It's a good run from the midfield. A battle going on. Involving Chandler. Chandler shakes off John Reynolds. Still going, Chandler. Straight through the middle. Okay, now. To the right hand side. The first shot was blocked. Uh, the first cross was blocked. Second shot it was also dealt with by Oakwood. It's Wimes. Strolling out with a ball at the back. Casson and Morgan have been dominant forces at the back so far for Oakwood. Header from Reynolds out for a throw. Clearance away over the shoulder of Morgan and through to the goalkeeper at the clock. Here's Morgan again. I see Oakwood have launched an additional third team for the first time this season. Their first team currently champions of the Premier Division, of course. All that makes it all the way through. This is Mullings. He's got away from his challenge. He's gone round the goalkeeper and rolls it into the net. It's very good finishing from Carl Mullings. Set up by a ball straight through the middle by Harry Morgan. And Carl Mullins puts daylight between AFC Oakwood Reserves and Clark and Welp. Gets away for the first challenge. Presence of mind to take it around the goalkeeper Falzoni and then just pops it into the empty net. 2-0. Got a controlling stake in this game at the moment. Of AFC Oakwood. Finished last season in Division 2 in 5th. 20 points from 18 games. Charlie Smith with a free kick. To the back post. Somehow it didn't go in from Harry Morgan. Right place, right time, wrong finish. Falzoni, Falzoni with the goal kick. Down the line by Clark and Well. It was Nataro that was involved. This is a good opening for Crockett. And then a slide rule pass towards goal from Charlie Smith. It looked like it was going to be three. And the goalkeeper did just about enough. He's gone behind for a corner. He picked up a slight injury there, Falzoni. It's a goal kick, in fact. 
It's played short towards Daniel Laws. Driscoll. It's good football for Clark and Well. Driscoll takes over again. Stepping out from the back, Morgan. Down the line from Burdis. It's a neat turn. Bouncing beyond Mullins, but it's gone out for a throw. A throw that's taken quickly by Murphy. Cleared away. Welcome, well. Trying to break away. If they can find a goal, they bring themselves right back into this game. It's a good ball. Otaro cuts back inside, tries the shot. It's a good block by John Reynolds. Simeo with the ball forward. Cole Mullings. It's a good run by him in towards the penalty area. He's ducking and diving and needs some support. The referee's going to bring that back for a free kick. A foul right on the edge of the penalty area. Charlie Smith has resumed responsibility. Goes for power. Wall does the job. It's a great tap, uh, dummy. By Aaron Kennedy coming away with a ball and looking for options. Way to the left hand side is Wimes. He's got past the defender, but the whistle has gone. It's a foul. Simeon, the player, fouled. It's a clever little flick on by Burdis. Mullings charged down. Crockett, Smith tees it up, and the shot was right wide from Ryan Murphy, but I think the referee's got to bring that back for a foul. This was white. Blatant the trip on Charlie Smith. Just inside the penalty area too, so it's a penalty. Crockett saved, Crockett scores. Aaron Crockett. Makes it 3-0. It was deemed just inside the penalty area and the captain made no mistake with the rebound. It was actually a very good block, the first penalty from Falzoni. <coughs> unlucky with the second. 3-0. The general prediction was this was going to be a very tight game. Not too many goals. They've got themselves a little bit of daylight now. Of Oakwood reserves. Clearance away, hits Drohan. Here is Drohan again. It's wide by Murphy. And the other Murphy, the two Ryan Murphys combining. Out for a throw. Falls on it. Lost by Driscoll. Welcome well. Quickly turning defence into attack. It's got lost in transit then, but then Jack Kesson read the situation and brings it away from the back for AFC Oakwood reserves. Out wide for Morgan. This is Burdis. Straight through the middle. And the shot was palmed around the post by Calzone. It's still alive. Charlie Smith gets it across and it's a tap in. And a second goal of the game for Billy Drohan to make it 4-0. Thought that the initial save was going wide for a corner, but it's kept in by Charlie Smith. He puts it in the right place and he's had two tap-ins today, Billy Drohan. But you've still got to get there to put those chances away. And he has with both. 4-0. Notaro over the top, headed away by Morgan, Smith, good strength and good skill from Smith, coming back inside, chips it 
in towards the penalty area. It's just too far ahead of Billy Drohan and into the arms of goalkeeper Falzone. Falzone bowls it out and gets it back again. It's a lovely turn. Kennedy up towards Nataro. Stepping in is Casson. And back in the midfield by Ryan Murphy. It's Burdis. Crockett. Ryan Murphy, little through ball, chance for the hat trick, and he's taken it. Billy Drowan. Probably most difficult finish of the three. Right, hurry, hurry, hang on. Lovely little ball through from Ryan Murphy. Billy Drowan gets away from his marker and just clips it past the goalkeeper for 5 0. His hat trick. Up towards Charlie Smith, but he couldn't make the ball stick and it's cleared away. Good defending by Massimo Simiao. Bringing the ball away. We come again. Burdis. It's with Wimes. <coughs> He's giving it away. And there goes the final whistle. It's finished in this BSFL Division 2 fixture on match day three. AFC Oakwood Reserves 5. Clark and Well nil.